Natalia Cuica played her entire freshman campaign at midfield. But just before the season kicked off, she was moved to center back. I was really like, I wanted to run a lot and just score and like do as much as possible, like win the games and I mean, attack and score. But now it's more like making sure they don't score. Marker Corian saw a lot in Cuica that made him feel that she could be able to stop her opponent from creating chances to score. She is extremely athletic, extremely competitive. Her technique is first class, her mentality is fantastic. So she has all the makings of a very, very good defender, very good center back. Um, her willingness to do whatever it is that the team needs and go and play back there when she probably would prefer to play in a more advanced role, a more attacking role, uh, talks a little bit about her character and about her willingness to be a good teammate. The transition was not Quika's first choice, and it took time to fully embrace her new role. I grew into it, and I think just I could still play like being aggressive, and Mark still gave me like, like he said that I can still go attack and score, so that just gave me more confident that I can like play that spot and still score. Which is a good sign for the Seminoles and Quika, because her potential is limitless. She's really good. She's uh, she may end up being the best center back we've ever had here, and we've had some pretty good ones. Uh, it could name Grebka a little while ago, and uh, Coleman, and. Many, many, many others, uh, Tony Presley and so on, through the course of time that have been just outstanding uh, backs. But um, I think uh, Natu combines fantastic quality with the ball with great individual defending as well. So you put those pieces together and you have a heck of a player. Head coach Mark Rikorian added that he believes she could be the best center back in all of Europe and that Finland's national team will definitely benefit from this transition to the new position. What we do know is Florida State's already benefited from it. Their fourth ACC championship, and she was named MVP to that tournament. Florida State hopes their success continues as they're in California for the second and third round of the NCAA tournament. At the Soccer Complex, Jonathan Chalasey, Semmels.com.